What's up, boys? Today, we'll be taking a look at the June monthly awards player program and talking about the fastest way to go ahead and complete it. I post these tip videos all the time on the channel, so go ahead and leave a like right now. I seriously would appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. Go ahead and do it. Seriously, would appreciate it. And also, subscribe with the post notifications on so you guys never miss an upload. Seriously, I'm going to be the show content every single day on the channel. Before we hop in, though, we need to talk about some of the stuff that is coming to the game uh, pretty much right now. By the time you guys are watching this, this may already be in the game or maybe it's about to come in, but we have Nolan in the game here. Uh, 96 overall future stars player here out of the set 28 headliners. You guys have probably already seen that. And then they started teasing the June monthly award player program. And if you guys did not know yet, it is Jordan Alvarez. Pretty huge man. 97 overall should be an absolute beast. But also we have the tops now here. So we have brand new tops now cards that are coming to the game here. Uh, we have Isaac who's been going ballistic. Aaron Hicks. Uh, we have a Michael Chavis here. And then we have Chris Naviar in the game as well. 91 overall tops now players. But we also have these June monthly award players who are pretty good for the most part, man. Uh, we got 95 Kyle Schwarber. We have a Brian Reynolds. A lot of these guys have been going ballistic, man. Tiasca Hernandez, John Gray, uh, Tijan Walker. A lot of these guys, very, very big names coming to the game here. So I figured I'd kind of take a look at those first before we hop in and talk about some of these tips. Let's go ahead, though, and hop straight in because we need to go ahead and talk about a couple of these different things here. So let's go over to other program. We're going to go ahead and take a look. Before we take a look at the June monthly award program, we're going to go ahead and actually take a step back and look at the May monthly awards. So we can kind of, uh, the, if you guys, by the way, if you guys didn't realize it yet, I this is not out yet. The, the Jordan Alvarez is not in the game at the time of this recording, but he will be, and I'll be able to give you guys the same exact tips. So we're just going to use the May monthly award program as kind of an example. But make sure you guys go ahead and complete your moments. Obviously, you have to complete your, your weeks one, two, and three moments, and also go ahead and do the collection here. It's required. If you guys want to advance to stage two, you guys have to do this collection. You can either buy these cards, but I'd recommend going ahead and playing the mission so that way you guys can go ahead and get uh, some of these points here to go ahead and progress through here. But if you, for some reason, sold one of them or something, you guys can go ahead and sell these cards. But if you guys go ahead and complete this, you guys will get 13 program points, as you guys can see right above my head. And also, you guys can go ahead and get a Jack here with nine, 93 overall, pretty good for the most part. And Eduardo Escobar here, who is an absolute beast at third base. And you can also play a million different positions. So if you guys didn't know that, you guys can go ahead and claim that but also headliner set 19. So you guys have to do this right here. You have to complete 15. I'm not sure why, why I said 13. Uh, yeah, you have to complete all these 15 of these cards to get 13 program points. And you guys can go ahead and advance to stage two. Stage two is what I'm gonna be using the main monthly awards here to go ahead and take a look at here because it's gonna be the same thing here. So it's gonna say instead June monthly award moments. So you have to go ahead and play a bunch of moments, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully they end up being pretty easy. But once you guys go ahead and complete those, you'll be progressing pretty far through this program. You'll eventually be able to go ahead and pick up that Chris Sale card. Uh, in back in May, this one was Jim Rice. But uh, then you have the stage two where you need these player XP. This is where the big tips are going to come in here, which I will explain. There's a really easy way to go ahead and beat some of these out here. Uh, beat some of these off. That didn't sound right. You guys know what I meant. <laughs> May monthly award program here. So this one you have is required. You have to collect five May monthly award players here. So you get those for going ahead and getting past these, obviously, the May monthly awards here. You have to go ahead and get those and then throw them into a collection that is required. But also, if you collect all of them, you will get an extra 15 program points, which you guys don't need to complete, but you can complete if you guys want to go ahead and get an extra 15. That could end up helping out a little bit, but it's not required to go ahead and get Raphael Devers. But... It would save you some time here with uh, some of these right here. So, But uh, it's really easy to go ahead and complete some of these missions here. I'll explain. So with the tops now here, you just have to get 2,000 parallel XP. Uh, you needed uh, 250 XP last season with uh, last month with Dansby Swanson. It won't be Dansby Swanson this time, but it'll be like Kyle Schwarber for one of these or whatever. But uh, anyways, this is a really easy way to go ahead and do this. You have to go ahead and plug these guys into your lineup. You want to go ahead and plug these guys into your lineup. Stack up your lineup with every single one of these guys. As much of these guys as you can. And just go ahead and try to get as much parallel XP as possible. Go ahead. You can play on the stadiums too. You can play on those uh, stadiums that will help you guys hit home runs. If you can use a custom stadium, use that. Otherwise, you can go ahead and do... Um, you can go ahead and go in a different park. Go to Laughing Mountain or just a park like that. I don't recommend playing online for this events. It'll get you like 1.5 times XP, which can be nice, but like, I don't know. You also can't use everyone in a, in the current event, but you want to go ahead and go to play versus computer. Go to play versus computer after you've done it. And if you, after you guys went ahead and plugged all those guys into your lineup, plug the pitchers in, all the different stuff. 
Uh, you can up the difficulty if you guys want, but I'll be using rookie for the sake of this. Make sure you guys play at home, and then you guys can go ahead and choose your stadium here. So choosing your stadium. If you guys have a custom stadium, I recommend using the Twin XP Stadium. This XP Stadium right here, just look it up. Go ahead and download it. This will be one of, if not the easiest, I believe it is the easiest actually, uh, to go ahead and hit a home run. So go ahead and use the Twin XP. Just go ahead and download it from the vault and get it into your Diamond Dynasty. Otherwise, you guys can go ahead and go to like Laughing Mountain Park. You guys can go to Coors. Just any of those places that are really, really easy to hit home runs. But uh, I definitely recommend using a custom stadium here with the Twin XP. I think that's definitely the easiest way to go about it right there. And then you guys just want to go ahead and obviously get your parallel XP. Just go ahead and get as much parallel XP with those players as you guys possibly can. It's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. But just make sure you guys stack up your lineup. If you guys have only three players in your lineup, though, if you have only three players at the moment three main monthly award program players i'll do my best to try to explain this as uh, easy as possible but let's say you guys have just three of the players so far what you guys want to go ahead and do is make sure you guys meet the bare requirement to go ahead and get the player xp so let's say you only have uh swanson varsho and, uh, and uh, cole here in your lineup for example you want to go ahead and just go ahead and go through i think you have to play eight you have to go through like eight or nine plate appearances and then you're good. So that's why I also recommend playing on probably Rookie or Veteran. So that way, once you've gone through, I believe it's, I think it's eight. I think it's eight plate appearances. Once you guys do that, you can go ahead and then quit out and you will still get your, uh, you'll still get your parallel XP. It's something like that. But if you guys go ahead and do those things, you should fly through this June monthly award program pretty freaking fast, man. So go ahead and get your stubs from doing this. Go ahead and get your Chris Sale card. Go ahead and get all of those different cards, man. And uh, yeah, just go from there, man. It should help you guys out a ton. Hopefully this video did help you guys out just a little bit. Hopefully I did a, a good enough job at explaining uh, at some points here. So yeah, just go ahead and plug all those guys in your lineup, play versus the computer, play in an easy stadium to where you guys can hit home runs and all the different stuff. Uh, you're gonna have to do it with pitchers, obviously too. Just go for strikeouts there. Should be a pretty self-explanatory thing right there just to go ahead and get your parallel XP. There's tons of parallel XP methods on YouTube, but like, it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part, man. We'll open up a couple packs here. We'll open two standard packs here just at the end of the video here. But seriously, if you guys made this far in the video, you guys may as well leave a like and subscribe. I seriously would appreciate it. Helps the channel out a ton, man. Seriously would appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do the show 22 videos every single day for you guys on the channel. Let me know uh, if how how excited you guys are, really, to go ahead and get the uh, Jordan Alvarez. I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, Jordan, big fan of Jordan. I think he'll uh, be an absolute beast here. So I haven't seen the card stats yet, but I'm assuming he'll be a freaking beast. So really excited for that uh, coming to game here. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the very next one, man. Peace out, boys. See you next time.